We got about six minutes, y'all, before we start. Seven o'clock, straight up on the hour, we'll be starting. If you have the EA, please have your, your um, MT5 open. So we can go over it. Four minutes, everybody. Actually, you know what, guys? We're going to go ahead, <clears throat> going to go ahead and get started. And a sense of sitting here four minutes. We're going to go ahead and get started. People get on, they will get on. Right, right. Welcome to everybody out there on Facebook. We see you out there on Facebook. Um, if you have comments or questions, um, do it, go ahead and comment in the um, in the in the chat box there. Um, of course, here on Zoom, everybody knows this is open mic form. If you have questions, unmute yourself as we go along. Ask your questions. First one I ask, does anybody have any questions about how the EA works? The settings, um, if theirs is not working or whatever, let me know. Unmute yourself if possible. Ask your questions. Or if you're not set up, you know, let me know. Anybody before we get started? Nobody? Let me hold some. Let you hold some, yeah. All right. All right, all right, all right. Nobody got any questions. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and get started. With our EA guys, we, we trade it on a 15 minute and an hour, okay? 15 minute, preferably. 15 minute. Oh, I closed it back then. Didn't I? We want to have, we use our, our well, let's go, let's go over it first. Let's go over it first. All right, how our EA works. And I have to say this on all the time. No, this is not 100% automatic ea it's not a robot it's not something you can just let run you know and what you're going to manually um man you're going to manually trade with it okay the ea is designed simply to get you in the trades in the trades it puts you in it every, at, at whatever cross you design that, that you desire we got our set on a 1321 tomato right here is the, is the 21 the black is the 13 but with our ea you can set whatever image you like some people like the 50 and the 100 some people like the, the, the 21 and 50 you know um it depends on the, the, the moving average that you like to trade, right? So how I trade with it, let me bring it back up now, is we see this right here, the market is flat, right? We definitely don't want to trade this. We don't want to trade with the market is flat because you'll get this, you lose, lose, lose. You have all these losing trades right here because it's, it's not going any distance, right? Even on the higher time frames, you know, it's, it's, it's a flat market. You don't want to trade that. And so when it comes out of consolidation, that's called consolidation. So when it comes out of consolidation, it makes a run, right? Now it's going to pick up this trade though. Now this kind of, look at this long bearish candle here. Of course, you know, this, um, it, um, it's not, it doesn't happen like that all the time. Normally you get a shorter candle and the trade goes in, but it would, it would come in on this trade right here. Retrace on you about 35 pips and go down around 20 pips right here. Then it would take this trade. 
right? As it crosses back up, candle closes, crosses back up, puts you in this trade. And if you have a set TP, you know, we, on a 15 minute, we like to say 10 to 15 pips or 20 pips and you and use your and use your um, your your trailing stop, right? So if we have a 20 pip trail, a 20 pip trailing stop on here, price goes up about 20 pips right in here. And it brings your, it, it would bring your um, stop loss to break even, right? You'll bring your stop loss to break even right here so you can't lose. But the new feature that we have on the EA is what we call our partial close. Uh, right here, partial close, put that on true. And it lets you close a percentage. Let me open this up so you can read the whole, well, I guess that is the whole thing. Percentage of volume to close on the first trail, which means, well, shoot, I got to set it, what, 50, guys. That's, that can be changed to whatever whatever you want. You can say 10, you can say 25, you can say 75, 99, whatever you want. What that means is if you're trading with the EA at more than 0 0.01, because that's the smallest lot size that we can use with Carbon Capital, and most brokers, the smallest lot size you got is 0 0.01, right? Which on on um, standard Forex pairs is going to be what 10 cent. So if we let's just say we trade in 20 cent, right? And this is your entry. Price enters right here, right on this on this cross because it crosses. You get your arrow. I'm sorry, you in right here. You get your it, because we enter on the next scanner, right? The EA it won't take the trade until this price. Well, actually. I take that back. We got two ways. I'll show you. The first way we won't take it won't take the trade if you got this set on candle close, which means it's waiting for this to become permanent, right? Because we know the Mac arrows, we know the Mac arrows do pre-paint, right? So if you got it set, if you got this right here set on uh, delay uh, candle to look for zero or one, one is closed. That means it won't activate this trade until this candle is closed. Well, if this candle is closed, that means you're on this candle. So it takes the trade on this candle here, right? We go up. We go up about 20 pips. So about right in here. So we got about right in the bottom of this candle here, a little bit over the bottom of this candle. We got 20, 20 pips about right in here, right? So what does that do? That moves our stop loss, which maybe 25, 30 pips, wherever it is, that moves our stop loss where? To break even, right? And to break even. Then... For every every um, pip after that that it goes up, it trails. It brings up the break even, and every pip after that, it start it puts that much money in the bank until it until it tops out. Everybody got that? So it'll close out once once it goes to, once once price goes to break even here. You, you're you're in, and and um price goes up to twenty pips. I'm sorry, price goes to twenty pips. It brings your stop loss right here to break even. So those twenty pips, it's going to close out partial because you got it set at partial close it's going to close this out if we're at zero uh, zero point zero two it's going to close out from here these 20 pips right here from here to here it's going to close out at zero point zero one which is half of zero point zero two so you're going to put zero point zero one times 20 which that's what two dollars you're going to put that in the bank right and then whatever after that it continues at zero point zero one so if we got this at one dollar then it's going to close out at point zero five so you know point zero five to 20 pips that's what 10 bucks you have 10 bucks in the bank. And then, as you know, you can't lose after that, right? You can actually set your, if to be said, you can set your trailer stop, trailing stop to 10 pips. But, you know, more than likely on these faster moving pairs, you're going to always get stopped out right there. You're just going for 10 pips. Highly unlikely you're going to get 10 pips and it keeps going because it's going to retrace each one of these candles right here. Let's see. This candle, the smallest candle right here alone. Is 10 pips, right at 10 pips, about set, what, nine, nine pips. So this candle right here is right at nine to 10 pips right here. That could retrace. So if you have it set at 10 pips, more than likely you're going to get stopped out of 10 pips, but at least you put something in the bank. And if you're if you're doing that and only getting 10, and you notice you're only getting 10, you're probably going to up your lot size, you know, because you consider scalping it then, you know, right? You're just trying to scalp and put something in the bank. But that, that's, how, that's, that's how the EA works with that setting. Uh, let me get this one out of the way. So we got it set on candle close, right? We got it set on candle close. It puts you in the trade right here, right? Now, if we had it set on candle open, as soon as these MAs cross, wherever price is, because this it would be this candle, right? Wherever price is, when the MA is crossed, it's going to end you in. It can end you in at the bottom as soon as it touches. It can end you in the middle. It just depends on time and wherever it crosses. However, 
that you're, you're gambling a little bit more with the alien because we know this arrow can repaint, but it as soon as these cross, cross it's going to enter you in. But what happens if it crosses and then what price turns back down? Moving average turns down, price starts to come back right here. It doesn't go up, it starts to come back. It's, it's already entered you in the trade now, but now price is going the opposite way. You know, so, but that's the purpose of a stop loss too, correct? That's the purpose of a stop loss. A lot of times, price goes up and keeps going. You know, you're in the trade early. That's an extra, you know, you're getting in right here. That's an extra, you've already gotten 15 pips on that trade even before it closed. So it can it can work for you. It can work against you. It's just how you trade with it. Always have a stop loss. You don't have to worry about it. But, you know, if you get candle open, you, you're, you know, it, it could work in your favor. And a lot of times it does. Because if you would have got on this one right here, candle open, look at all that you would have gotten. But if you wait the candle close, it wouldn't have entered the trade to right here. Then it immediately retraced. Then it went down. But if candle open, you would have got all of that, which is roughly 100 pips right there. That was news. We know that. But if you didn't can't open that news right there, you would have made money on that right there. And then retraced and then kept going back down, right? So that's 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 how we open. That's how it works. Um, let's go look. Uh, let's go look at it again, so you know how it sets up. Candle open forming, which is zero. Put zero here, which means as soon as it MA's cross or candle close, and it, it waits to the next candle, right? Then again, we have the uh, the partial the trailer and the partial close. The partial close right here. Like I said, you can put that on true and have a percentage. So that's the that's the way to protect yourself there. Partial close, trailer stop with a, with a, with a stop loss, All right? So the next way we can trade with it, and some people like to do, is cross to cross. That's, I, I don't like that trade. I don't like that, that one much, but we got some people who like it because, again, we have the flat market filter on, so it won't trade any of this, right? Won't trade any of this. Goes up, it'll trade this. Cross to cross, puts you in the trade, but look, it went down 21 pips. But it didn't exit until the next cross, which is up here. So it actually exited negative 30 some pips. But let's go look at somewhere where, you know, it, 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 it makes money. Right here. Got it on cross to cross. You got in right here, at the top, uh, right here at the top of this candle here. Get out up here. 181 uh, pips, right? Because it crossed here and crossed, right? Here. Got in here. And got out right there by 11 pips, right? Got in here, got out there, 65 pips. Flat market, you're not trading, so you're not worrying about losing these. That's flat. Got in here, got out at the first one right here. It's about 76 pips. All right, so you can go cross the cross with it. You go cross the cross with the flat market filter, you'll get these runs. No trade here. The next run and so forth. No trades here. This is really a bit. This really would have been a good one. Got in right here and didn't get out to way up here. 170 some pips. Cross the cross. Right. And then the flat market filters on again. It's not going to trade this right here. Not going to trade any of that. You got in here and got out right there. Some pips right there. Let's see what that probably is the easiest way. And again, this way right here, what I tell people, this this is more of the 100% walk away from it. Just let it run, cross to cross, let it run. However, you can intervene with it sometimes, you know, if you see a trade that does open, that looks like it's, it should know, that looks like you, you don't want to take that trade, right? Close it. Cross to cross here, you're the one. Cross to cross here, you're the one. Uh, yeah, you came here. You lost that one. So that's one you would have lost. Um, you would have lost this one. Because you would have got in here and got out here. But these are small pips. This, it's not a lot that you would have lost on this one. Here down to here, <coughs> about 15 pips there. But big, but the big runs of what you're getting here, you know, in here and out here, 101 pips. You know, does anybody have any questions so far? The, the cross to cross is probably the most secure method for running without any intervention because, again, you're not going to get this. You know, well, you won't. You probably wouldn't even get that trade because all this market is flat. All this market is flat right here. You know, but what you can do again with our max, see the, the, the our our EA has a lot of value with it because what happens is on our max, these are called max moving average crossover, which means 
Every time these, these black lines cross, it gives you a Mac arrow. Well, with these Mac arrows, we set them up. They can send you push alerts. Put this on true. And so I, I put it on false on here. You put it on true. Every time you get an arrow, you're going to get an alert to your phone, your cell phone. You come look. But we know it's not going to get, we're going to get alerts here, but we see a flat. He ain't going to do anything. You get this one, you get the alert. So you got all these alerts. Like, well, yeah, you see, after you get around the third or fourth one, you're like, yeah, the market is consolidating. So you just, so you keep getting them. You come in, look at the chart. You get it, look at the chart, look at the chart. You got it, look at the chart. You see it's still consolidating. But at the, remember, you get this can, this arrow at the end of this candle. So you're on this candle. So now you're saying, okay, the market may be coming out of consolidation now. Why? Because all this is going straight. But that one bullish candle, now we broke below the 200 on this one. We're below the 200, we're below the 21 and the, uh, the 10 moving average. So you start to sit up and kind of, kind of watch it. Right. And realistically, you enter that trade. I mean, that, that would have been a, that would have been a good entry right here. Enter the trade for the sale manually because you can manually do it, too. Now, it went down to what, about 30 some pips. It did retrace around 30 pips, you know, but it dropped on down. So had you manually entered that one you know, kept going. You know, the only reason you, you, you is, again, you would get these alerts on your phone. So you just come look at the chart on every 15 minutes. Come look at the chart. And you, this bearish candle here, once it closed below the moving average, you say, OK, because we can't see in the future, right? When the price is right here, we don't know what it's going to do. But this is how we trade. Price is below the, it closed below the 200. It closed below the 21 and the 10. So you enter that trade. We always know we're going to have some pullback. So we get in it, pull back. You have a stop loss. If you if you manually enter this one, where would your stop loss? Where would you think your stop loss is going to be? Stop loss is more than likely going to be your most recent high right here. So if you enter that trade right here on it, you're going to have a, a 60 pip stop loss. And this is not like top down analysis, guys. This is EA trading using the moving averages. So you're entering on moving averages. So you'd have it. If that, if that stop loss is too much for you, then you say, okay, the most realistic high would be what? Right here, the highest candle, right? And the most recent highest candle right here. So you enter that trade manually right here. And now you only got a, about a 30 pip stop loss, 36 pip stop loss, something like that. Right, and let it go. It didn't, it doesn't come back to it. And on down, because you got these crosses, these these notifications on your phone, you can look at it. And if you know, again, it closed below the 200, closed below the 1021. Now you're in a sell trend. But what I would suggest on something like that, you get that out, wait until your moving averages are below the 200. See right here, because you know, as long as these 10 and 21 is still above the 200, price can go the opposite way, which is what it was doing. But once you know, th this is where you start to set up. Once you set, you start to, you know, sit in your chair and start, kind of watch it every, every um, 15 minutes. Come back. Once this candle closed below the move, the, the 200 and everything, now your, two, your 10 and your 21 is below the 200. So now you're truly selling, truly in the sale trend. Because your 21, your, your 10, which is the black line. I mean, I'm sorry, your third, I keep saying 10, your 13, your 13, your 21 is both below the 200. And prices below the 200, close below. That's your sale. That's your your your, your really sell, your conservative sale entry. This right here, close below, would be a more aggressive sale because you're getting a little bit early. You got to reach it. You get more pips on this one, yeah. But this is a little safer move. So you're not trading this consolidation here, but we do know we start to look up because we do know out of consolidation, price generally tends to make a big move. So that's why we had. That's why we put push alerts on the arrow so we can get notifications. All right. Again, in it here. And out here, you know, on cross to cross, you were you were in here. Not a lot of moving on this one. Only got about five pips on that one, you know. But then again, if you're in it cross to cross, there's nothing saying that you can't manually close either. To whatever your money's looking like, you get in right here, and all of a sudden price came all the way down. You got 56 pips, and then you get this big yellow dot on your chart, which you said that's probably a pullback. Okay, I'm 56 pips. I'm closing it. I'm not gonna wait for it to go back to the cross. I'm going to close that early. Because if you got 56 pips there and you got $5 a pip, that's 250 bucks. Not going to just throw that out. Or again, your trailing stop kicks in, you ain't got to worry about it. Just let it grind because you can't lose, right? You can't, you cannot lose. So anybody have any questions so far? Anybody have any questions? Unmute yourself if you have any questions. Because I see a few new names on. Anybody have any questions? If anybody out there on Facebook got questions, put it in the comment section. And we'll get to it. We'll get back to it. I got the wrong fingerprint. Anybody got any questions? I got oh, questions about yes, other sir. things. I got questions about other things. I, I know I'm gonna let you finish. 
Well, no, go ahead because this is what we're here for. We got questions about other, is it about the EA? Yeah. Okay, well, go, go ahead next. Go ahead next. Well, first of all, um, on the uh, setup on the website, <laughs> um, are you aware that one of the videos is not there? Which one is not there? How to activate, <laughs> excuse me, and deactivate the semi. And that's on the website? Yeah, under the MT5 EA setup tab, tab you know, that you have all those okay. videos. Okay, hold on one real quick, because I thought I pulled that one down because we don't have to activate it anymore. Um, okay, well, that makes, okay. Yeah, well, that maybe, that's, maybe that's why it's not, I might have taken it off YouTube and forgot to change it on there. I'm, I'm looking at the website right now. Let me log in. I might have missed that one. I appreciate it. I missed that one because we don't have to activate it anymore. Um, it's come on, that's the wrong thing. I'm looking for it. Um, because all we do, you get you get your email. Let me actually let me just drag this page over here. Can everybody see my my I'm, is it sharing the right thing right now? Yeah. Uh, okay. You get your you get your uh you log in, you like you logged into your website, click on here, right? And you got you scroll down. And you got your download of the EA right here. As soon as you download it, as soon as you download it and install it, it's installed. It's activated. It's a couple of things you got to do, but it tells you once you download this and run it, run the setup file, it tells you step by step what to do. Then after, so there is no real activate setup. So I got to take that down. I got to go back and find out where you, where you, where you were talking about and go take that down. Um, but I think I know which one you're talking about. I think I might have missed that one. Yeah. But what you do after you install it, what it does is, is it tells you in the setup to come over here to tools, options. Um, I ain't no question. Click on um, exp uh, this expert advisors right here. You got to click. Well, this yeah, you got to click this. These two, once you click this, these two will light up. You like this? They'll light up, right? You you click this one and this one, and then you add. It tells you all the instructions. It add this right here, this website. So by clicking that, you're gonna come over here and you're gonna double click this right here and add that website, HTTPS, semicolon, forward slash, forward slash, and easy way to trade.com. That, that when you do that, that's what activates the EA, turns it on. And then, you know, of course, you just turn on your algo button and that's what actually makes it start running. But it in, in that setup, it walks you through the setup there. You don't, um, and I guess I can, I, I'm writing this down right now. I'll go back and make that video to just do that same step too, but it walks you straight on through. But um, once you download it and install it and you did those steps right there, um, it, it's ready to go. Okay. okay, well, as far as I know, I've done those steps, uh -huh. but I can't I can't get the EA to, to, to stay on the chart. Okay. Okay. Don't, you, you don't, don't you? Here's um, the next. Here's it's the next. Possible, it's, oh, go ahead. Now I'm gonna say here's the next problem. Also in the instructions, it tells you when you're in your back office right here, it tells you in the instructions when you're in back office, go to my profile right here, scroll down, scroll up, I'm sorry, I missed past, put your MT5 account numbers here. See, it's, it's, it's MT5 specific. You gotta put your account number, one, two account number. You can have one or two, up to two different accounts. Put those account numbers there right here and then save the profile. Once you save it, it's there. I've done that as well. It's possible. Okay. It's possible. I, I, I don't have. How I have the latest. What version are you on right now? The version of the EA. Mm -hmm. Is it one point? Uh, one. I think it's one point zero nine. I think off top okay, of see that, I think all right, that's my that's my problem. I think it is. I'm not, I'm not on my VPS. I can't put it on my let me look at my VPS. Um <clears throat> I think that's my problem. I is, um, actually let me go to once you go to matter of fact, let me install. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how I got how to do it. I'm install I'm gonna install it on this computer right here. I want to put it on here anyway. So I already got my account number here, 10120. So I'm gonna uh, didn't go back here. I'm gonna go ahead and install it. What I gotta do, come up, click install. Then I gotta come over here and get this number here. A key code. And again, all this is in the directions. Uh, let me shut, you gotta shut MT5 down first here. All right, install it. Yes, 
Fine. First thing he's gonna do is ask me for my key code and email address. Can y'all see this part? Mm -hmm. <coughs> yep. I'm not sure if y'all can see me putting this. One, two, three. So long. All right. Learn to trade or go for you. Come in, put my license key in. And click next. Now, if you don't put anything in these blocks, it ain't gonna go to fall. It's gonna come up next and it's gonna say you must enter values in here. Next. Install that there. Click the install. And this is where it tells you what to do. Right here, all this information right here. Well, this is I information about our Zooms and stuff like that. And and become um and uh set up the accounts right here and, and the Discord and, and stuff like that. But come here, come to next. It's gonna tell you to do this right here. Put everything in there just like that. Next here, finish. Yeah, it's version six. It's one point six. It's six. One point six. All right. Yes. Can't remember on that one. Hold on. Okay, now I got that done. So let me go ahead and bring back up this MT5 <clears throat> over. Yep, 1.06. Yeah, you're right. 1.06. Okay. Up. And then right click template. I'm on Forex pair, right? Yeah, Forex pair right here. I already got my, I already got this in there. So this should click in. The information you click, take. once this is up, takes this around 30 seconds or so to click up, let you know your subscription, stack, your subscription status is active, your email, the expiration date, license is okay, and your account number. Then I just turn it on and that'll turn blue. And then you do that each pair. Turn that on. Um, I mean, I got turn that on and 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 run that template. And come out. Okay, so I, what I was doing was uh, clicking on it in the uh, navigator. Is, is... No, 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 no. Let's matter of fact. Let's just do this. Let's just share your screen and let's get you right. Go, go ahead and share your screen. Is is open it uh, so you don't have to in, input it in the um, uh, once you it. once you installed it. Remember, it asked you the first thing it asked you for was your license key and your email address. You already put that in there, so you don't need to drag it onto the chart because all the information is right there, right? Yeah, I know. I, I, I to be transparent, I've I've used it before, and then I then I stopped for a while, and then I'm re um, using it. Uh -huh. um, so it's not like before where you have to input it in the top of the EA, you no, know, when you open no, right, right. No, no, you, you're talking about this right here. Like I said, no, all you, I got my button here, share button, uh, share three. All right, it's right here. You're talking about coming over here, taking it and dragging it to the chart, going like this, and having to put your information in right here your email address mm -hmm. and license key. That's, mm -hmm. what we, that's what we used to have to do. And then it would be a red and green dot down here, red or green dot. Telling you it was active or inactive, right? Remember? Yep. Okay. And we don't do this part anymore. Once that was what I mean. Once so I said, once we installed, and I hit that, you saw me install it. It asked me for the license key and the email address, the first thing. But I told you it won't let you go no farther without doing that. So now all you do is right click, go to templates, and go to that template. I'm on, I'm on FX pairs. I want to click FX. And that's it. All right. Well, I'll share my screen with you. I'm sh maybe it's probably something simple. I don't. I I, I I believe I've done everything you said, but I. Okay. Well, that's what I'm here for. Let me see if I can fix it. All right. Um, Matthew, can you give some information and examples of the EA's recent performance over different pairs? What are some of the preferred pairs to use? Some of, the, some of the preferred pairs to use are the highest ADR pairs. That's in our set files group, in the Discord group. I posted a, a picture in there. The best examples of the EA has been on the G, G, uh, GBB pairs and the EA pairs. When you're in, when you, when you have, you know, when you're going, um, um, you know, I normally put like a hundred pip TP, but put this, put the, um, what's we call the trailing stop on. And just, you know, of course it's probably not gonna go hundred, especially in the 15 minute, but hundred pip puts it so far away that it's gonna go as far as it can, but the trailing stop. You know how to share your screen? Yeah, I click share at the bottom. Uh-huh, yeah, I'm waiting, I, I, just letting you go ahead.
Sneak sign. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Problem is, let me see. Yeah, all you gotta do is just open up your MT5. Yeah. Um, all right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Now get me. What oh, happened? I oh, I'm sorry. I hit. I, I was share, share your screen again. I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to hit that button. <laughs> All right, give me remote control right quick. All right, that's just me. I just want to back check everything. Here, let me, oh, hold on a second. Right. Let me get this for you, because I'm using two screens. Okay, all right. all right, slide it over here. All right. All right, yep, yeah, okay, that's good. And you said you did put, you said you did put um come on close out okay you said you did put this account number in the back office uh <laughs> you know what uh you know what i'm just noticing that that's uh you know what that's probably the problem jeez i there is an account number in the back office but it's 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 not that, it's not that, that one ain't gonna work <laughs> It's not that one. Okay. I just okay. I thought it has to be that hmm. account number right there. I mean, you can go log into your back office right now. Put that yeah, and, and add it right now. It'll work. Yeah, that's probably. I told. I told you it's probably something simple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, there's an account number already there, but I guess I never. I could have swore I saw it up there earlier, but I guess not. Uh. Just put it as a second one. Mm -hmm. I cannot find the um zoom thing. Tripping. All right, I believe I edited it. Okay. So and you saved it, right? Yeah. Save. Okay. So now we come over. Now what that does is it causes this EA to check your back office status. What pair is this? You chef. All right, it's on. We wait to see if it stays. If you got everything right, it'll pop up up here. Yep. Good there to go. It is. See, it was just All right. have it correct. So that was the issue. That was the issue. All right. Now every pair, what you can do, this is the um, this is the you know, the uh the, the settings for that. You can come over here also, just for quick access if you want, take this template and save it. Since you don't have a default template, save it as default. And if you do that, you don't have to actually load the thing anymore. You just, your next pair you open up, say if you go to your market watch, open up another pair, it'll automatically load it straight up. All right. Appreciate awesome. your help. All right. Okay. Yes, that's why we do these Zooms to get everybody up and running. Anybody else have a question? Screen three. Screen three. Okay. Any other questions? Any other questions? Flo, I like that in, in the other group, ping pong. I like that. That was nice. Yep. That's nice. I forgot all about it. I, I think I got to go check my inch. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about it. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So um, anybody else got com comments or questions? See how it's just consolidating right here? It wouldn't take this trade. What we expect it to do since it's already a, a, daily, a, 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 a high on the 15 minute. We're expecting to consolidate and break south. Once it breaks south of below the 200 here, we get an arrow right here because my last arrow is going up. You see it's so close. The last arrow is going up. You get an arrow here, price plate below here, then you know it's gone. Right? Then you bang a little. But this again, you know, it's again right here. It would take this trade here. It would have taken this trade. And this would have been a good one cross to cross. Taking this trade out right here. No, it wouldn't now. We're actually about seven pips, six pips like that. And cross, you would have lost this one. You would have won this one. I uh, lost that one. Lost that one. But you would have made it all back right here. Well, actually, it's not too much because that's 
that bar right, that bar right there, all the way right here. That's only about, well, that's about 40 pips, about 40 pips. So, you know, hey, but again, you're going across the cross and it's right here and you get up to 109 pips and you see this dot with a white box, you know it's good to retrace. I've been on forget that next cross, close it out. <laughs> but again, this dot could have been where? It could have been here, could have been here. But no matter where it is, you know, you see the dot, you just go ahead and jump out of it. The cross the cross setting is just pretty much if you're running it overnight or you're not going to be at your computer, you just let it do what it's going to do. Anybody else got questions? Anybody? Nobody got questions? Kirk Such, Kirk, Such you said again about that. You talked about the pullback. Uh -huh, it's right here. Right. So, you know, you know, trying to mix a little bit so we let EA run on its own. Yeah, what happens is the cross to cross setting is, 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 is just for, you know, if you, you can let this EA go on its own, period. A couple of our members are doing it right now on the, I can't remember if he's on the 15 or the hour. I can't remember. Um, I got to ask him, okay, but he, he hasn't touched it in four months. A um, couple of people you just let it go cross to cross and he's winning, making money with, it, you know, and, and, you know, just, just letting it go cross cross. I mean, it's going to, it's just going to lose some trades, but it's going to win trades. The ones it wins more than lose. That's, that's the odd objective. So, but if you, if you're not going, if you let me go cross cross, but then you see it, like you get in right here and all of a sudden it's up here at, at 86 pips, right? And this dot, we know repaints. This dot could have been over here at this candle. This wick here, probably more likely was right. I'm, I'm almost positive this dot was over here. That's a big, I'm, it was here. Then it just pushed over. I mean, it didn't actually push here. It, it stayed here. Price came back down. But when price broke right here, it went from this candle straight to that candle. Then it broke that and went straight from this candle to that candle. But if I'm right here, with it don't cross the cross, and, and it gets here, and that's what, 87, almost 90 pips. Then that dot forms right there. Well, in my mind, I know, yes, it could push up like it did, or it could do this, push down and lose and keep on going down. So when that dot appears, why take the chance? You don't know what it's going to do. That dot is a, it's like a pre-warn. It's like a stop sign. It's saying, hey, I'm well, it's not like a stop sign. It's like a, a, the yellow side, caution sign. I'm getting ready to turn around. So you might want to just go ahead and take your profit now. Right? Um, you know, that can bite you in the butt too. And let me explain the why. You can be in the trend. I mean, you know, it, it, it works, you know, once it's gonna pass your 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 set TP of 20 pip or whatever trailing stop, because this dot right here can come here, right? I mean, it, it, it could you being right, well, actually, it can't really bite you too bad because it could appear right here first and it just take you out right here, small pips. But um, if it didn't show up and price rejected down right here. Remember, you're in the trade right here. So, it, I mean, you're in the trade here. And this can happen. You're in the trade right here. It comes up. Price just pulls back, but no dot or anything. Pulls down to here. Comes up here. Then price gets right here, dot forms. On the way up. Because price wanted to come up here, hit the 200, right? Bounce around and then reject it. Now saying, I'm hitting the 200. I'm going the other way. Dot forms. But you're, you may be, oh, that's, that's right there at one pip. But what if you were a little less than that? Dot forms and then go the other way. So the dot can take you out early too and then the dot takes you out and then the dot repaints and it goes up here and you took you find it took you out down here but now you come back an hour later and it's way up here but the dot formed down here so it's going to take you out you know you can you can say take me out at the dot too at the swing or trend that can work against you or for you but um i would only use that you know if i'm monitoring and it's past my my entry right but we know just going we, we know that it works going from swing I mean, going from uh, arrow to arrow, arrow, arrow to arrow. And one of the guys that I know is using it, he's trading it. He's trading the, the flat market filter and everything. He don't care. It takes every trade. He says, I'll lose this and I'll lose this. I'll lose this. I'll lose this. But I'll get all that. Then I'll get all this. Well, actually, you only get much here. He'll lose that, but he'll get this. He'll lose this. He'll lose that. But he'll get that. It evens out. I mean, and, and with all of that, you know, if you, if you make 100 pips, but it's hands free, you ain't done anything. And it's over what, 24 hours right here? Well, two days, let me bring it in some. All this right here, two days, 
but you made a hundred pips hands free. You know, that's not bad. Right. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Kirk. No, that was it. Go ahead. When you go cross across, remind me, because I, I, I tried it. Do you, you don't put a stop loss or a take, pro you don't, you don't put any parameters, right? Everything no, because, is. No, because the, uh, the, the cross is it. Okay. The cross right, is, so... the only, the only, I mean, you could put one for, for safety, like a 50 pip one, because sometimes you will have, I'm trying to see if I can find one. Okay, let's just say, well, no, that's here. Let's say this arrow was on this candle, price cross on this candle. And let's just say it was just a little bit farther down. You got in and you got a 50 pip, a, a 40 pip stop loss. Well, you got in right here, right? Price went all the way up, 80 some pips, but you got it crossed across. Comes all the way back down right here at 50 pips, right? But you got a 40 pip stop loss because you don't want to go 50 pips because that cross took you all the way down to 50. This this news could have tapped down and went 200 pips and it didn't and, and to the cross. So remember, it's going to close out at the end of this candle. So what if this candle, what if it crossed right here and this candle was you know, 200 pips? Cross the cross would have taken you out with negative 200 pips. But if you had a 40 pip stop loss, it was just taking you out at the, the most the most you know the most recent one, the 40 pip. So you can have, you know, on the M15, you know, anything below the hour, a 35, 40 pip stop loss. But just remember on the GBV pairs, you know, you're going to be kind of pushing it close with a 30 pip stop loss because price, will, I mean, just look. Uh, you're going up right here. You're in the trade right here. Price retraced 30 pips right there. You know, it went up, you know, it's about six pips, but it retraced close to 30, 29, 30 right here. So if you had a 30 pip stop loss, you best believe it's a year right here, 29, it's going to wick you out. And then you come back next day and see price went up like that. So I wouldn't on the on the 15 minute G pairs, the EUA pairs, stuff like that. No way possible. I'm gonna have a 30 pip stop loss. May do 45, you know, just to give it some breathing room, right? You know, so but but if, but you know, cross the cross. If you just went cross the just keep in mind this could happen. Get a can like this on the news, you know, just and 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 that's just it, it can happen to you. And, you know what can happen will happen sometimes, right? You have a, a, a cross and you got a big long spike news candle. And all of a sudden, that's 250 pips when you should say, man, I could have had a 45 pip stop loss. And I, so you can put a stop loss on it. But, you know, in reality, you don't have to have one. It's eventually going to take you out of the cross, um, especially go to the hour time frame. You know, all of this the other guy, one of the other guys, he trades all these. He lets you try all these. You know, I I just don't like it. See, when I, when I see it going like this, you know, especially over a whole day. I would just turn that chart off, just, just close that whole chart. Because that's a lot, that's one, two, three, four, five days. That's a, that's a week right there. So it's, that's a whole week of consolidation. And if you got it trading all this, you lost every one of these trades and you wake up every single day to a loss. You get, that kind of that kind of make you mad. So if you see it starting to consolidate, especially for a whole day, you done lost four in a row. You know, remember you got your Mac arrows to be able to give you, to be able to give you uh what you call it? Uh, push, al right. push alerts. So you can come look at it right here. Push alert. You can come look at it and say, okay, yeah, it's still consolidating. Got a moving average is still together. Price went up right here. We think right here, but price was probably because we can't see all this future. So we right here and we say, okay, well, that's two bullish candles right here. We may be able to come out of consolidation. But what do we do? We want it to pass what? We need it to pass this right here. It ain't to me, it's not out of consolidation until it passes this point and this point right here. If we're, if we're right here and we see it say it's not out of consolidation until it passes that. And if it don't pass that, it ain't out of consolidation yet. And what do we see it doing? Still consolidating. But it came out and closed right here, right? Went down, but it came right again. It only went down around 25 pips, which hey, that 25 pips will pay the bills, but then it went right back in and consolidated. So it's consolidating again. So it broke out. So my next breakout, I would say, okay, I'm right here. The price comes here and here. So I'm consolidating. So what you could do just by knowing this with the A, what you could do too, is just put buy with pending orders. You probably give it about five or six pips above that, five or six pips below this. And this is this will be an active order right now on the hour. 
put a buy alert, a, 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 a buy stop, and a sell stop. And whichever one it hits first. So we're still consolidating, right? Because the 200 and 200 price is riding the 200. So you can best believe when this does break out, it's going to be a pretty good significant move. You know, it's, it's going to be something like that. It's going to be a big, a big move like this. When it finally does break out, it's because it's been consolidating there for how long? Pretty much it came out right here and it came into consolidation. You know, when it moved out, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, going on seven days, going on a week of consolidating. So when it does break out, it's going to be a good move. You know, and so you can put your opinion on, this might not happen to way over here. It might not happen to, you know, we don't know when it's going to happen. But if you put a pending order, I think that's as far as it goes. You put a pending order, buy stop, sell stop, and whichever one it hits first, close the opposite one. Chances are you're going to get a big move. But you don't, you don't put it right on. You put it like a few pips below, four to five pips below and above. So if that's my high, oh, darn, it's GA, yeah. So I mean, it's, it's hard to say about five or six. I knew it in this area, about five or six pips, you know, above or below the most recent high and low. And if it just goes, you know, breaks out of here and goes, that's 30 pips, right? If it just goes up here, 30 pips. But more than likely, it's going to make a good 100, 200 pip move somewhere. Somewhere. And bless Alice, you there? Bless Alice. We were talking about earlier today, finding those type of runs. These are the ones, that, that's the one type of one that we did that day, right? When it comes out, because look, we catch that. At 650 pips over the course of two days. That's that one run. Look at that one. 660 pips. And that's what we did on EA that day, sitting at McDonald's. Hmm. Bless ain't paying attention. He ain't paying me no attention. He's been asking me about this, but normally when it comes, when it, let's see if it's consolidated. No, this ain't no consolidated. Look at all this. GK and an hour been moving, but when it consolidates like this, you know, a few days, it makes a big move. And as you see, it hasn't consolidated in a while. Look at that move, y'all. Well, here we go. Came out of consolidation. One, two, two and a half days, right? And then did what? 300 and some pips. Consolidated really hard. It was already in the sale of trinket. Look at it. But see, now we know just by looking at this, we're in no type of trend right now. We're in no trend at all, right? Because the 200 is, is whip. It's called, this is called whipsaw. It's whipping across the 200 everywhere. So we don't know what it's going to do. Put that pin in sale. But guys, when it comes out of there, we can about bet that it's going to go, you know, it, it, it shoot. The way it's setting up, it's going to make a move like this, 700, 800 pips, something like this. When it finally does come out, it's going to be a run. It's gonna, now, be, it's gonna definitely be on. Kirk, now now you're doing this, you're doing this on 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 the manual trades, right? Yeah, the, right um, just right now I'm talking about because we would with this right here. Let me get you ready this so we can see it. With this right here, you know, the EA, if we had the EA set up to take all these trades, you wake up one, two, three, four, five, six days worth of losses. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve losses in a row on this pair. But I, if, if I'm if I already took those L's right there, I'm saying to myself, I'm gonna keep taking them because I know I'm gonna get one big one here. I'm gonna get another retreat. Re, re, uh, I'm gonna get one big one. Then I'm gonna get a good correction, and I'm gonna get another correction. I'm gonna get three or four corrections. The next trade that's been consolidating too long. That's a whole week of consolidation. That's like taking your water hose in the yard, putting it on full blast, and then you know, and then squeezing it, and it's it's just building up pressure. Building up pressure. This is a so, trade out. Uh -huh. Wait a minute. So I'm sorry. So I, I'm a little confused, Kirk. So this is letting the EA run cross the cross. Right. This will be letting the EA run cross. If you ran the EA cross the cross, look how long it's really been consolidating. All this is consolidation. Prices, it break out a little bit back in. Break out back in. All this right here, this break out, break out back in. Break out back. That's been what? One. Because this was a move here, right? But look at all the moves. One move, two move, three move, four move. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, start, it's starting to go flat. It's, it's losing, but when you come over here, this is where all the moves, look at all that. 
So we're starting to go into a, a, a how, how many days worth of consolidation now? Pretty much one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Almost two weeks worth of consolidation. I turn the EA on this on right now, on this pair, and let it go cross the cross with the trend, with the flat market filter off. Cause I, I don't want to, I would not want to miss the move. See, with the flat market filter on, you're going, you're not going to take none of these trades. None no. of them. So you won't lose anything. But what happens when you get that last one? Just we get the down arrow right here, and that's coming out of consolidation. And it breaks that and go and it goes 800 pips. But you got consolidation on, but when it crossed, it was still in consolidation, right? When it get the arrow, it's still in consolidation. This arrow could have went crossed and it could have bust out and went up like that. But it, it wouldn't have taken a trade because it's still consolidating. And that's why a couple of the guys who do it, that's why they, they say they want to take all of them. Now, this right here would have been a hard pill to swallow for me. All this, 12 days, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 trades in a row on this pair. I don't know how many pips that would be because cross to cross here, you in here, right there, that's 70 pips by itself. So you imagine it's probably about 1,000 pips right there that you don't lost. You don't blow on an account two, two or three times. But if your account is big enough or if you're proper risk management, 0 0.01, okay, you're fine. You might lost a thousand pips, a hundred dollars at 10 cents a pip, a hundred dollars. But then it come out and it go a thousand pips this way, right? One time, got that hundred dollars right back. And then of course, it's gonna make a correction another thousand pips away. So now you got the other money back and it probably do it three or four times because look back here. I mean, it hasn't consolidated for a while. Well, this small is all it, but look at the runs. Small, this is what it normally does. Run, consolidate a little bit, continue to correct, continue to run, then come up, run, and you're getting all these. Run. You no, know, look at that one. It consolidated right here. You lost a little bit, but bam. Bam. You know, you get it all back. And like I said, you know, it's a numbers game because I know a couple of the guys that are doing it are doing it that way. Flat market filter set to uh, 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 false and the trend filter set to false. Would you now, would you just do this on your GBP pairs? You do it on any, any of the volatile pairs, any of the ones that are 70 pips or above ADR. If you go to big, I think, um, uh, uh, let me find it, uh, baby. I got it. I got it. BBPips.com has the new one out. I oh, think. okay. And some of the pairs that I got, I got to change the one I put in the set files because I looked at theirs and they got some of the pairs like GU, I think in our set files, let me look in our set files group up here. GU has on hours right here, it says 101 pips for 2021 in our, in our chart. But baby pips says it's only about 80 something. I, I would go more with baby pips versus the chart I got now because baby pips keeps theirs updated. So go to baby pips and go to their, go to their um, ADR pair chart. ADR pair chart. Yeah, tell okay. you ADR, the average daily range for the pairs. Can, can you, will it let you open up more than one chart on one pair? I mean, down here, have, yeah, you can have multiple, part, part, multiple charts open. No, no. So can I open up a, a two GA charts? Yeah, so I'm saying you can have two, I can have GA, 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 and have different things on it. But with the EA, in order to do that with the EA, what you're gonna have to do, because if you have this same, this called magic number right here. If you have this same magic number, but both, it's gonna all do the same. So if I want to have GA here on the H1, GA here on the 15, GA on the, GA on the four hour, I need to change the magic number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then I'll make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then I'll make the other one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Has to be different numbers for it to react, so to know which chart to work with. So, because what I'm asking is, I could take. I'm just throwing this out there. It might be crazy. Tell me if it is, Kirk. Um, I, I have two GA pairs. So I have the GA on the 15, and I do my um, my uh, regular um, EA with the um, with with the partial stop with the partial uh, yep. profit. Mm -hmm. That one, and then open up a new one. With the GA on the hour and do cross to cross. That's fine. Just you just gotta change your magic number, but keep it keep in mind now the, as many pairs as you have open, many pairs you have open, you need your 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 um 
All right, just slipped my mind just that quick. Your uh, risk to reward, right? You're, you're, you don't want to be over leveraged because remember GA pass, you got on a 15, you might have two or three. Well, let's look at it. Let's look on a 15 right here. All right, 15 minutes. So now we got within a day time, we got one, two, three, four, five, six of them on that day, three on this day, and about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven, 10, 16 pairs, 16 times it opened up in three days here. Then you go in the hour in three days, it's opened up one, two, we okay? yeah, one, two, three in three days because it's the new day. So three. So you got what I say, 60, you got 19 trades open just on GA that will open up sometime within those three days. And average how many pips? You got two of them open, and I'm sure you got other pairs open too. But you trade, you got I'm not, I don't know what account you get, but you got a five hundred dollar account and you're trading at a dollar a pill. And you got 20 some, 30 some trades open. You're gonna blow that account because them GA pairs are gonna see they're gonna retrace 35, 40, 50 pips. And if you got three or four of them open at the same time and they all retrace 30, 40 pips, that's a hundred, almost 200 pips that just those two trades, those two pairs are gonna open and trade. And you know, you don't know how long they're gonna be open. Then you got other pairs try to open, you know, too, at the same lot size, they going to draw down. So just keep in mind, I would say, just keep in mind. The, the, the more pairs you have open, the more you need to be con, uh, concerned with your lot size. Right. And one good thing about our EA, the EA will handle that for you. If you come over here, I don't know how many people use it. Um, risk percentage. Instead of doing a fixed lot, you put this on here. Percentage of account equity or balance. I like equity because, see, if I got a $1,000 account, I say I only want to risk 2% of my equity. So equity means if I got a thousand dollar account and I'm in three trades and I'm in drawdown, but I don't have a thousand dollars, I may have eight hundred dollars really to play with. That's eight hundred is my equity, thousand is my balance. So the next trade it opens up, it's gonna open it up the lot size based on my equity, not my balance. So it might open up one trade at 0.06, and the other trade equity going down and say, okay, and the other one I can only open up at 0 0.03. I can open up one more at 0 0.01 and then it stops. I ain't gonna open up no more until my equity comes back, until I'm out of some trades. That's keep you from blowing an account. Okay. Okay. I see that. But in order to do that, you got to do this now. Uh, where is that? Start the start. Set the starting equity of your account. So if I'm starting at a thousand, I got to put a thousand. That's my starting balance. Or if I'm already in, if I got a thousand dollar balance, I'm already in some trades. When I do that, I got eight hundred equity. I say I got to go down and say, okay, how much equity I got? I got eight hundred equity. All right. So that's what you. And then let, that lets the EA know where you are, and then it can calculate every trade itself. You know what lot size to put, but you got to change that. You know to equity, or if you just want to do it just straight balance, and you can change your percentage. I only want to risk one percent of my account, All right? So there's a lot that EA would do. You know, that's good questions, Abe. Good questions. Um, anybody else? A any more questions, Lee? Uh, one last question. I'll let somebody else ask. Um. In terms of the movement, you said the guys that are doing the cross to cross, they're doing it on the hour or on the 15. That's what I said. I, I don't remember. Um, I got to go ask him, but I'll post it in the Discord group. Um, one of the guys' names, if you talk to him, his name is Rudy Brown. He's been doing it now for about four, I would say about four months, and he don't touch it. He let it run. And every time he hit me up, it's winning, it's winning, it's winning. I'm like, wow, okay. Um, yeah. You know, so um, it, I I think his I think he's running his I think he's told me he's running his on the hour, he's running it on the hour, but you but you, but with that you got to be able to handle this right here, <clears throat> and if I you know I think he's wrong he's only running it on like five or six maybe six different pairs he's not running every pair that we have for it you know he's only running right. on five or six pairs, because imagine if this happens for a whole week on two different pairs. Ooh, you know, lost 50 some trades in two days or 30 trades in two days. But when this comes out of consolidation, though, it's, it's about, you know, the wins outweighing the losses. Correct. Know, so doing it that way, you got to be cognizant. You got to be able, you got, you got to keep your emotions out of what I say. You got to know that, hey, I know I'm going to lose these trades. It's consolidating. But when it comes out, I, I stand to win a lot more. So you got to be able to handle that, though. You got to wake up in the morning and say, darn. I'm down another four hundred dollars, or whatever you like. I'm down another hundred dollars, or two hundred dollars, and not stress because you know it's gonna come out of consolidation soon. And then when it's it, what what you can do 
when you see it come out of the consolidation, it breaks out. You got three candles is going. Then you say, okay, I'm out of consolidation. Especially if, if we got it like this. This is what I'd be looking for. All right, let's just say all oh, this right here was that right there, consolidating straight across, right? Then I got this, this ass arrow. And my consolidation, let's just say that's my consolidation lines right here. Let's say the price was consolidating all through here, all that last week, right? Let's consolidate. Then I got my swing low dot, right? Right in here. I got my cross arrow inside of here, or, or even it came down a little bit right here. But I know my 200 is below, right? So I'm going up, right? I'm price is already above it. You know, hey, more than likely, that's out of consolidation. You put it in and look at it, what it did. It went up. You put another entry, and that's when you met. Once it breaks out of the consolidation, right? It breaks out of here. It breaks out consolidation two or three candles because you want to. You don't want to just say the first candle, two can, two or three candles out of consolidation. And you're looking at your 200, 200 pushing up like that, moving up, pushing up. That's when you say, okay, it's out of consolidation. I've already got this trade going. This one trade going. I manually enter another trade, manually in another trade, at a good size lot size, and let it ride. Right? Because okay. remember, it's, it's, we tell you to manually operate EA two. So once you see it out of consolidation, so I would like say I would put some if even if you don't put buy and sell stops right here. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do this right now, and we're gonna let it ride. We're gonna see. I'm gonna put an alerts. I alert right here. I'm gonna set it up. I'm gonna come over and put sound and put it on notification because I want it to come to my cell phone. So I'll get an alert if price comes right there. If price comes to that, and I'll put one down here. Although I'm almost positive it's gonna go up, but you don't never know. We're not married to any direction. Right? So that's my alert here. Okay. So now when price comes and breaks either one of these, whichever one it breaks first, if it breaks this one first, I cancel this alert. If it breaks the low alert, I cancel the high alert. Once it breaks it, doesn't mean I don't mean I jump in, right? It's just right there. I want two or three candles out of there. I want two or three candles out because it could come out. I have one candle, the next candle be selling and right back in. And it's just ain't finished consolidating. So I need two candles. I need two good bear, bullish candles out. Or I need two good bearish candles out. Right. And then once it does that, it gives me my two or three bash candles. Shoo. Putting another trick, put another entry in. So I got the alerts here. Remember, the only way to get the alerts, guys, you got to have your two options. Your notifications got to be set up with your, with your MQID number in here for your phone. Get that off your, your MT5 on your cell phone. It's right here, medical ID. That's the only way you get these alerts, push alerts with the Mac and everything to have your notifications enabled. Right, so I'm set up. So whenever price, price is right here, right now, right? Price is right there. Price gets up here, I'm gonna get an alert, right? And then I'll come back and say, okay, price is there. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Any other questions, comments, questions? Anybody? Anybody else? I mean, if you got more questions that you've asking, man, that's what we're here for. Anybody else? Okay. I mean, well, if, if that's if if nobody else has any questions, um, that's going to do it, y'all. But that's that's how the EA works, guys. I mean, put it on um, you know, if you can handle that, put it on flat market false and you catch all the moves. But just make sure your lot size is minimum for your account. Because you don't want to have a, a five hundred dollar account and you have it point one. And then, you know, point one, you know, lost 50 pips. That's $50. Lost nothing. That's $30. You know, blown that, blown that account before you get here. You know, if you're going to put flat market filter off, you know what's going to take every single trade. So your lot size once needs to be, you know, tuned into that. And you want to make sure. I would do the equity so that it'll adjust itself. Because it's a slow win, right? It's a slow race for this thing. Anybody else questions, comments, concerns? Good. Thank you, Kurt. Yes, sir. No problem. Not a problem. Not a problem. All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, that will do it for this this Wednesday night. 
and we will see you guys. I, I'm not sure. We'll probably be having a Friday recap again this Friday. I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, if we do, we, it'll be announced in our um, groups. And that's usually open for the public too. If some people, if you're not a member of us right now, if you're not a member of it, it, an easy way to trade, go ahead and get in our free signals group at tradesignals.aneasyawaytotrade.com. I'll, I'll, I'll put it in our chat box right quick. If you're not in this trade signals group right here, go ahead and join this, HTTP. This is free, get some free signals. Yeah, go back and look, make sure I spell it so long. I make sure I spell it right. Trade signals dot and easier way to trade.com. Yep, it's in the chat group right there. If you're not in that group, go ahead and join it. Get some free signals. We we up, we up, we positive for signals this week. Well, we've been positive for signals every week. <laughs> um, you know, so go ahead and get some free signals there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for us this Wednesday evening. Um, hope everybody has a great rest of their week, and we will see you guys later. Thank you, Kurt. Sir, good night.